Okay, this is my uh, TNT. It's cannon, but worse than a cannon. It's a hose. TNT hose of sorts. So, I already blew it up several times, as you can see. So, here you go. It just continually shoots over here. They can go ridiculously far. Some, as you can tell, don't go very far. I mean, the closest ones will go here, but those are usually that that come off the side. And this is my uh, clock that I made. It makes it shoot off extremely fast. And as you can see, it's now empty. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. But, and you can see the uh, extreme destruction it can put out. I mean, this used to be a whole humongous mountain all through here. And all that. Look at that hole it made. Dug in there. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see this part. Oh my. Whoa. I like dug this humongous pit. I don't even think this was here. I think this was completely dug by TNT. That's ridiculous. Yeah, because that wouldn't have. The lava would have been pre flowing there, and it's not. That's crazy. And it just completely obliterated it. It's ridiculous. I think I'm gonna re. Uh, I'm gonna put here. Hmm. I'm gonna put some hoppers up. Because if I put hoppers here, then I can automatically reload those. My problem is those. I don't know. There's no way for me to, you know, reload those. <clears throat> oh, I know what I can do. If I put the redstone signal around the outside, like that. Yep, that should work. And then it'll just automatically, you know. Oh, but then, shoot. And I can't have it on those, though, because it'll... Huh. Problem, because I need the redstone on top of those. So I guess I really can't. There's no way to really reload it and keep it going. Sometimes. Okay, that's getting really annoying now. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Um. And I guess I hoppers are kind of a waste then if I can't use them on that side. On the top of me. So. I guess I could probably. I bet I can focus the fire of this TNT. If I. Uh, you know, kind of like that. And then if I do the same thing for these and just place it like this. It should, when they spawn, it should, you know, kick them out. That should, that'll stop them. I don't want that to happen. Or, I wonder if I would do this. If I would put water right there. Like that. So that they spawn there and they shoot across. I'm going to try that. Because it should protect it, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. We'll see. I'll try it. Um, I need to fill these up again, don't I? I think I'll just put 64 in each. Let's 
sadly I have 10 of these, so I can't quite fill all of them with one set of TNT. I need an extra one. No! Get it going. Oh yeah, that hooks it perfectly. Oh yeah, they're all going farther now. I'm gonna definitely focus the fire. I think. <clears throat> Still though. I still wish I could, you know, keep it more straight out. A lot more straight out than it is. I guess I probably could if I do it this way. This would actually be very nice if I could, you know, camouflage it like this. I could literally hide this inside of, just like this obsidian pit of lava and water all around it. As if, you know, it formed this obsidian pit. And, you know, you dig down in and you realize, oh my gosh, it's a TNT can. So, I think that I think this should work. Maybe one more out. No, I don't even want to do that. I just want to play it safe. I think. But I also do want to fill these up completely this time. Sort of not really. I don't really want to, but I'm going to. I mean, I've got to do this ten times, and it doesn't take that long. Just the physical placing of the TNT in each one. I wish that I could just you know, do that and just be done with it, but obviously not. That clock so fast it annoys me. Okay. And if you uh, don't understand how this clock works, it's actually, um, it's really, it's three redstone torches, and as, if, and as they're, okay, so they're being powered, they power this block, which powers, um, they power this, okay, so, yeah, I'll show it to you. They pa those torches power this block, which powers the redstone, which powers this block, which depowers the torches. And when they're depowered, it unpowers this, which, you know, repowers the torches, and then it just, it goes in a circle. Um, where was I at? So, it will continually power and unpower. That's why you, every time it's going, that's powering it, that's powering it and repowering it. And that gives you practically a constant signal. But it's such a fast, you know, rate of firing that it's hard to keep these filled up. You get it for, you know, a couple minutes, but after a while it'll, it goes away. And even with the TNT, even with it filled with TNT, all, all nine spots, uh, full stacks, it, it really only, you'll go for, I bet it won't even go for five minutes, maybe two, three minutes, but it just, it's not a very constant, okay, there's some time, okay, let's go, I know, I know. oh yeah, that's, uh, oh yes, that's beautiful. That's uh, making me go a ton farther. Mmm. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's perfect. Let's just pile them up back here. That's a lot more, you know, accurate than straight. <clears throat> Oh, and 
it's like forming this big pit underneath it. It's crazy. And it's just launching them back here. I'll be right back. Sorry, I did that. Switch really quick. Uh, yep, and I was only on for like a minute, and it's still going. Let's see how continuous this is. I mean, it's literally just shooting me down in this pit of darkness. It's just exploding in that water. I bet it would blow up a ton more if I could, uh, get this, uh, water stopped off. I keep getting, I can't really play stuff because I'm getting blown back by the TNT, but if I was able to stop it, oh my goodness, I can't even... Oh, it stopped. Finally. That uh, did take a while though. So you can see now it uh, it's definitely got a lot of kick to it. Plus that's uh, first of all just the power that it can give you of shooting your TNT out. I mean it's it's ridiculous. It's crazy. I can't even I honestly can't even imagine what you would need. I mean maybe TNT like wars. TNT Wars, maybe, but just that much immense power. It's really unneeded. But, you know, you can use it, obviously. It works, so it's okay. It's all good. I'm running low on battery power. Hey, what happens? I won't die though. Got, got eight percent. It's all good for now. That's why I'm starting to lag slightly. I'm trying to conserve power, but also run the game. It takes energy. So, and then there's this tree. That's that's. See, this gives you some perspective of, on how tall this mountain was that used to be here. This was all mountain. I mean, this is this is the tree that was on top of the mountain, all the way up there out a ton of it. I think I could make this even more direct. I'm going to add one more line to this. Because it's still slightly shooting off to the side. I think if I add one more line, it should do a little bit better. Okay, that's good. I'll just add one stack each. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I That's even more direct. Perfect. Oh, no, it's blowing up my wall. No, my pretty wall. It's beautiful. My phone's uh on vibrate. Well, there you go. So Yep, a mountain used to be that tall, and it's uh, completely obliterated. So that shows you the power of this. I think that though that though that did make it straighter, I will admit I didn't get quite as much range as I did with just two in the front. So there you go. That's my uh, compact TNT cannon. 
So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.